everyone! I'm super excited to get into this video today because I am going to be showing you guys the top of my vanity. So a top of the vanity tour, I guess you could say. I just really wanted to show you guys what I actually have going on back here. I know you could see this in my beauty room tour that I recorded like almost two years ago. I need to do a new updated beauty room tour, but I just want to start off with what I have back here. I will tell you guys where I got everything and yeah so if you're interested in seeing the top of my vanity tour then of course make sure to subscribe down below for me and let's get into it. All right so this is actually what the top of my vanity looks like. I have a bunch of stuff, I know. I really like decorating my desk with a bunch of stuff for you guys to see. So we're gonna start over here. So I have this cup that I actually got in a bridal subscription box. It's really cute, I've never used it. It's just really cute decor. And then I got these from an old friend. They actually have a saying on them. I don't know how well you can tell, but this one says, hello, fabulous. And I kind of have them scattered all over the room. And then I got this jewelry holder also from the bridal subscription box. All right, and then back here, I actually got this acrylic holder on Amazon a while ago, but I know they still have them on there. They're everywhere all over Amazon. And what I have in this acrylic holder is a bunch of lipsticks. I actually don't even use these lipsticks a whole bunch. I'm just so addicted to my ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks that I kind of just forget about these, but they are nonetheless very pretty to look at. And then I have this little pink holder, and it just has really important jewelry in it. And then right here I have the Mary Kay Gel Eyeliner. I think it's just in black, but I really like this. This is one of my favorite gel eyeliners. And then I have a little tiny sample of the Daisy Marc Jacobs perfume. I don't even know where I got this. It's so old. But I really like the packaging and the little flowers. So cute. And then I have another perfume back here. And I don't even know where I got this one. I think it's Viva La Juicy. I'm pretty sure I got this in a boxy charm. It's Ciate Glitter Flip. I haven't tried it out yet, but it's really cute to just sit here. And then I have this Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Gloss, and I think this is in the shade Libra. I don't even know if they have these around anymore, but I bought it just because I'm a Libra. And then I have the Mary Kay Satin Lips. One is a lip mask, and the other one is a lip balm. I have another lip gloss, but this one is by Tarte. And then I always use this. This is by e.l.f. It's pretty much an eraser pen. I love this because I use it all the time for eyeliner or to get mascara off my face. It's just a really good go-to product. I actually have three Lorac lip glosses. I think this came in a holiday set. I also have a Hard Candy Oopsie Proof Eyeliner Eraser. It does the exact same thing as the e.l.f one. We also got this in a boxy charm. I have no idea if it's a liquid lipstick or if it's a lip gloss, but it's by Pretty Vulgar. I haven't used it yet. And then right over here, this is the Sephora Winter Flush Blush Palette. I actually really enjoy this. It just gives you a whole bunch of different tones and colors. It gives you a blush and highlight to mix together. It's a really good blush palette. But inside here, I keep my Artist Couture highlights, and these are the loose highlighters. I have been obsessed with these lately. They are so good. I'm going to look into gain a few more and I just have a few hair clips in here also. And then this I got a long time ago. I don't even think this is around anymore. This is the Laura Geller Color Brilliance Lipstick Trio and I don't even remember why I got that. I might have got it gifted to me but in this drawer I have my MAC blushes and then I have my Fenty Beauty All Over Diamond Veil which is amazing. I love this so much. I also have the Hard Candy Turn Me Matte Drops, which I've never used before. And then the last drawer, I just have some random products. This single shadow is from Hard Candy, and it's a champagne color, so I really like to highlight my inner corners with this. And this is from DLS. 
eyeshadow and I like to use it as a transition shade and you guys all know this product this is the Wen Wild single shadow and crayon brulee I also have the sleek makeup highlighting palette physicians formula butter highlight in pearl I have a mini tart blush in the shade party I think I got this for my birthday and then I have the elf highlight in white gold which I think I've only tried once I need to try it out again but so far so good. All right, and that's all that's in the acrylic container. Then I have this glass vase behind me with some branch decorations and Matt actually made this for me and it lights up. I love it so much. I'm so thankful for him because he comes up with all these really cute ideas for me and I just, I love it. And then this container I actually got at Walmart when they had college stuff out. I think this was actually supposed to be a pencil holder, but I was so obsessed with gold and putting everything gold into my room that I just decided to make it a brush holder. And then this mirror. This mirror Matt actually purchased for me off Amazon. Hello! And it does light up. So I have some lights around here. It has two mirrors on the side here that zoom in. And then it has one big long mirror right here. And then the main mirror. And I absolutely love this. I use it every single time I do my makeup. And then right next to my mirror, I have this holder. And I actually got this holder from Hobby Lobby. And of course, it wasn't supposed to be a brush holder, an eyeliner holder. It was probably for arts and crafts. So I have all my eyeshadow brushes in here. I have a bunch. And then in the middle here, I have just random products. I have my eyelash curler. I actually have an eyebrow shaver. I have some tweezers. I have my false lashes applicator. I have my headband that I use every single time I do my makeup to keep my hair out of my face. And then over here, I have all my eyeliners. And I have a bunch high-end drugstore. I don't really wear eyeliner that much anymore, but I continue to get them in boxy charms and stuff like that. So I put them all right here. And then in the back, I have all my high highlighting and contour palettes right here and then also some highlighting and blush palettes right here. So I just have Kat Von D, I have the one by Kathleen Lights, Makeup Revolution and Soph, I have the Smashbox and then over here I have one by Sephora like a long time ago it has a whole bunch of blushes in it and then my two Morphe palettes right here and then I have two ABH glow kits right here and then I have my Flower Beauty highlighting palette right here and that's what I keep in this container I absolutely love it it is so amazing and if you're looking for a really good brush holder and just other random stuff I would highly recommend this one. All right and now we're going to get to this container right here. It's actually two containers one on top of the other. They are not together but I just put this one on top because I really liked how it looked and as you can see I have all my ColourPop Supernova shadows in here. I have not filled it up surprisingly and I think I have every single one. I'm just waiting for them to come out with more so I can have it completely full but yeah that's where I put my ColourPop Supernova shadows. I also got these two acrylic containers from Amazon. Now onto the bottom container I have all my eyeshadow primers. I have the Urban Decay, Milani, I have a Too Faced, Elf, Pure Minerals, Jessie's Girl, Mary Kay, and I also have my eyelash glue. Over here, of course, I just keep Kathleen Light stuff. This is the ColourPop and Kathleen Light's Dream Team Lip Bundle. And then I have the ColourPop and Kathleen Light's Luxe Lipstick in What's Your Sign? I actually haven't even used this lipstick yet, but I have gotten into this. I just keep it because I absolutely love the packaging. And then, and the bottom four drawers is all liquid lipsticks by ColourPop. Can you tell I'm a little obsessed? These two are the Ultra Matte Lips, and these two are the Ultra Satin Lips, and then on the bottom I also have a few glossy lips. But that's where I keep them. I mean, it's perfect container to keep them in. I'm obsessed with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips, so of course I want them to be handy where I can easily access them, and this is perfect for me. Then moving right along, I have some Jaclyn Hill and Morphe products. This is her 
Vault Collection with all four palettes in here. And then behind that, I have the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Brush Collection, and all four brushes are in there. But of course, I had to store them on my desk because I just love how they look. They're silver and white and so beautiful. And then next to that, I just have random brushes, kind of in this candy container, I guess that's what you could call it. But I just think it is so cute. I love putting just random brushes in here. They're all clean and I like them. I got a few from Matt and then I got some from Beach Cosmetics. And then over here is just kind of just random decoration, like two candles and then my mini TV. And then I also have a box up here that says wake up and makeup. And then my mom gave me that. It is a hot pink heel with flowers stuffed in it. I don't really know where she got it, but it's super cute, so I put it right there. And then on the bottom, I have another jewelry holder, and it says wake up to makeup, and I got that from Sephora. I have a keychain that says I heart dogs. Right over here, I have a picture frame of me and my old dog Snickers. He passed away like two years ago due to cancer, but... This was his collar, and that's what he looked like as puppies, so I just keep it right here. And then I got this from Hobby Lobby because it actually has my tattoo on it. My tattoo says, Faith, Hope, and Love. So I had to put it right here on my desk to remind me. All right, guys, and that's the end of the Top of My Vanity Tour. I hope you guys all really enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure to just let me know down below. I will gladly answer them for you. But if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell and subscribe down below for me and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!